9 in the morning on iPad launch day at the Apple Store in Richmond, Virginia. First in line is Luke Souls. He spent the night in the parking lot. While the Apple Store geniuses cheer him for being their first customer, Souls has no intention of using the device for its intended purpose. He's buying an iPad just to take it apart. Souls is co-founder of iFixit, a so-called teardown firm. Souls and his outfit provide an advice on components in Apple gadgets. Firms like iFixit may prove crucial in identifying which manufacturer gets its parts into a device expected to sell upwards of 5 million units in 2010 alone. Souls doesn't even turn the device on. There's fierce competition to be first to tear open Apple devices. By 9.30 in the morning, Souls has turned the iPad inside out and was sharing its secrets with the world. When it's 9 a.m. here on the East Coast, it's only 6 a.m. over where we're from in California. And in California, at 6 a.m., three hours, basically, we were done with the majority of the pictures for this before they were even able to purchase one of these in California. The iPad had no screws, but it took Souls only 10 minutes to separate the iPad from its casing. It's not an impossible device to take apart, but it's definitely a challenge. Uh, Apple did not make this thing just come apart easy. It definitely took a fair amount of ingenuity to break it apart into pieces. Inside, Souls identified parts made by Samsung, Broadcom, and Texas Instruments. By noon, the bulk of his teardown was done. But there will be at least another week of analysis to determine how they were made and who made them. Deborah Luderbeck, Reuters.